Hello and welcome to Man of the Ants tries out Quill for the Oculus Touch. So this is another one of the design games where you draw, paint, mould and all those sort of things. This is a very much a drawing, painting style one. I do believe it's also a bit more um, advanced than Kingspray in particular is. And if you've watched my Kingspray and uh, Oculus Medium videos, you'll know that I have basically no artistic talent whatsoever. So this will... Uh, this will be very interesting. Well, that feels nice, though. That does feel... That does feel good. That's supposed to say good. Something like that. Yeah. Join that up. So that's, yeah, that's very cool. Immediately, that's very cool. Just trying to draw a little sphere. Okay, so, um, <laughs> poke the brushes tutorial to begin. Bing, bing. What am I supposed to do? Poke the brushes tutorial. Ooh, well, that grabs everything. The grab button grabs everything, unsurprisingly. Oh, I see. Press this button with your left hand to access the menu, and then poke the brushes tutorial to begin. Uh, yes, I am happy to not save those changes. Um, okay, one, draw. Draw a line to connect these two dots. You are in love. Ah, fantastic, you are romantic. So tell me when they're then doesn't tell me when they're connected, but out there? Ah, oh, I've made them happy. Now I'll connect the dots to see how they live. What's the A to D about? Is that separate, I guess? A B C D goes together, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Du -du 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 -du. Okay. Let's try this. There's that. There's that. A little house. Pop inside colour and push button. Pop inside, poke inside colour. To colour. Does it mean... Does it mean this? Yes, I guess it means that. And you don't mean poke this, because that does nothing, that's just a drawing. Okay, uh, let's colour the boat in. We'll start off with... Um, so you don't need to click it, you just need to press, and that kind of... That's enough, as long as you're at the right level. And if you go too far through it, the controller starts vibrating to tell you you've gone too far. Which is nice. And these are all sort of presets. Okay, we'll use the presets. And we'll colour in... the C around the boat. We'll go over the colour me, we don't need that. Something like that. And we need a nice... colour's the sky, it's like a very... it's like that sort of colour, that'll do. And there's the sky, uh, the lighthouse, well they have red in them, don't they? Red and, red and white? I mean, it's already pretty much white, but we'll do that anyway. And then some, uh, I wanted the, the yeah, grey. And some grey down here for the, uh, I suppose, yeah, if you colour in behind it, you can see the colours. What I should have done was, can I grab that individually? No. Well, probably, but not by doing what I'm doing. So, let's do the boat. Oop, wrong button. If I do it behind, yeah, then you can still see the lines. That's what I should be doing. Like that. And then for the sail, or oh, yellow for the sun. With a bit of, uh, yeah, a bit of sunshine coming off it. Illuminating the non-existent clouds. Uh, we did purple. 
What haven't we done? We haven't done black, but black's a bit... Oh my god. That is not my intention. There we go. Um, a nice green for the cell. We haven't had a green yet. And there we go. And for the flag... Nice, nice. I'm trying to get a nice pink of some form. Something like that. There we go. Okay, all coloured in. Beautiful. Three erase. Oh, that's undo. Is that redo? What's redo? Just undo. So uh, the X button on the right controller is undo. But I can't figure out if there's a redo option, which I would kind of like. Because it's all right. It's all right undoing it, but how do you redo things? How can I get rid of... Can I just close this? What if I just want to... I'll press the B button, of course. So is it saying this is the erase button? No, because that's the undo button, isn't it? So that's just undoing all that stuff. It's the wrong controller I'm looking at. The, the, A, the A button on the right controller. So the X button on the left controller is undo. So you can see the colors disappearing on the lighthouse. The A button on the right controller, which you can see when I hold it down, it does that, is, uh, is erase. So you just highlight the bits you need, and that erases them. So we'll get rid of all of their hair. And we'll make them all bold. Beautiful. Great job. Okay. And it's tutorial done. Let's just move that all back a little bit. There we go. Okay. So I did see there was another tutorial. There are three of them. So we will do the move, rotate, and scale tutorial. Okay. Move and rotate. Press the lower trigger to move and twist your wrist to rotate. Just like that. Why is that only grabbing that one? Is it... Yeah, in the other demos, the triggers would grab everything. But in this one, it only grabs the umbrella. I wonder why that is. Uh, move the umbrella so they are both nice and dry with their tiny umbrellas. Okay. So, if you're holding something with a grip trigger, I'm assuming you can do this with both... Um, yeah. Both controllers is the same. Hold the lower trigger and press the thumbstick up, scale up. So up and down, nice and simple. That'll keep you. That'll keep you nice and dry. Beautiful. Okay, the wind took the umbrella. Oh no! Move it through the maze to help. So that's just practicing your your movement techniques. So the wind's taking it. Whoosh. 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 Up we go. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Whoosh. All the way through. And whoom. Nice big umbrella to help keep them dry. Good stuff. Oh, it's nice and easy. Let's, um, B button for menu. wonder what the Y button, Y on that controller, X and Y, and then A and B on the right controller. So the Y button brings up the menu. Button mappings. Well, let's just take a look. Now try drawing outside this box. Oh, didn't see all that. Thumbstick and lower trigger to scale drawings for size. To scale drawings, and on the other controller, it scales the brush size. I suppose that's if you're not grabbing. If you're not grabbing, up and down will change the brush size. Oculus menu. Um, why is the menu on the left controller? Do -do. The X is undo. B is the color picker, apparently, but doesn't seem to do anything. And A is erase. And that's everything. So, I've done what they've said. I've drawn outside the box. Excellent. So, what else do we have here? So, these are the... Um, Oh, you can navigate that with the stick rather than having to use the, um, rather than push, which isn't, you know, it's not a massive stretch. It's a very 
old school looking Windows menu, isn't it? Just take a look at the caravan. Comes with sound effects as well. The floor seems a little far away, I think. It feels like I'm floating a little bit over the floor. So have they drawn, I can't really go much, I suppose I could just move it, couldn't I? I'm guessing that's a mirror. So if I bring this whole thing over, so it's actually, uh, well they haven't drawn everything then, it's designed very much to be, I was wondering if they drew the whole caravan so you could look through the mirror and see everything else. So let's drag it towards me a little bit. It's got like a money clip there, is that a cigarette or a match burning on the desk? Dagger in the table, really big plant. I've definitely, um, I don't know, and a very scared looking cat. Oh, and this guy, I don't even notice this guy over here, creepily staring at us. And these beautiful 3D pictures. Let's, uh, bring this guy towards us. Come on. Come on, then. Get right in our face. There he is. Isn't that cool? Oh, and there's stars outside. Nice little touch. Okay, so I can't seem to be able to draw in uh, or erase in here, which I guess is fair enough. Well, it'd be nice if you could draw in them to, um, you know, customise them to your liking. So, first Tuesday. Let's take a look at that. Wow, look at that. I mean, if you're artistically minded, for, you know, dumbasses like me, King's Ray's a bit easier to get used to, but if you're, uh, actually capable of doing anything worthwhile, look at that. There's so much detail to it. And it looks absolutely beautiful. Let's take a look in here. This little toy cart pond. Woman sat on the bench there. How absolutely wonderful. It really is. Let's pop outside this wall. There we go. Isn't that brilliant? Isn't that absolutely brilliant? And then this absolutely incredible picture. This is the one that I don't know if it's it used of their thumbnail or something like that. But look at that. That's just amazing, isn't it? So you can scale with the. Uh, oh. You just grab, use both grips at once. You can just drag it in and out, which is nice. Have I managed to flip everything upside down? I have. How did I manage that? It looks a little bit skewy from the front. <laughs> but yeah, from the side there. And this woman here, she looks so good. With the hair detail and everything. I believe this was developed by a guy who wanted to make a VR film with sort of a painting style to it, wasn't it? And he developed this tool to do it because nothing existed like it at the time and then just decided, well, why should I have all the fun? Why indeed? Why indeed? Okay, so that's everything there. I don't think we can... I think that's it. I don't think that you can skip between them anymore. So, um... So that's all the layers for the, uh... For the drawing. Does that mean you can edit them? Well, you can. So is that just because I didn't have the layer selected before then, that it wasn't allowing me to, um... To draw on it before? So I have just ruined that guy's poor drawing. No, good. Using the stick to, uh... Change the scale, you can see it getting very small there. So 
Uh, there's some nice little highlights to him. Okay, so how would we go about doing something new in here, I guess? Oh, those are the, the drive letters. I wondered why they, what this random assortment of letters was, but of course that's the drive letters. Excuse me. So there's the settings. Nothing overly uh, interesting in there. Exporting the 3D model. Capture animation. So I guess you just capture your viewpoint, I guess. You can capture as a GIF as well. That's very nice. You can change that all the way up to 720. Capture image, or just the image itself. as a 3D cube map, if you'd like. All the way up to 8K. That's crazy. What's... Oh, I see. That's, um... So I just do that, and then... Yeah, you just use the stick to change it. Okay, that's cool. That's the save button, which we don't want to do because... Well, why do I want to save that? All right, so let's start something new. I did say the B was like my uh, my color picker, didn't it? But I can't... I don't know how. Is it if I add a number of colors to this? So if I just add a random assortment of... Uh, of things, and I could do with a white as well, I guess. So if I do that, and then B still does nothing, and they still just hold down B. No. Left and right? No. So I don't know how B is the colour picker, like it said. That seems like... What are that undone? That undid nothing at all. Okay, well let's... Um, let's do something. What should we do? Start off with a nice... A nice, like, grassy green. Yeah, something like that. Stick you up there, so we got you saved. So we'll just do some grass. We'll make you nice and big. And we won't do, like, a massive panorama, because I suck. So we'll just do, like, a... We'll just do that. If I bring that up to eye level a bit, fill all this in a little bit, and then we'll put like a hill here. That's a bit more like it. Which we can't really see there because it's all the same color. Okay, so yeah. We twist it this way so you can see the, uh, the hill a bit more. Fill in those gaps. And then this side will do the same. So what I've basically created straight away is almost like a valley. So we'll stick with that theme. We'll get a... What I want is a grey. How would I get like a nice grey? Something like that? Yeah. Make this a bit smaller. A lot smaller, in fact. And then we'll just do some, like, streaks down it. Which are kind of like, you know, symbolizing rocks, I guess, basically. But just so we can see a bit more where the, uh, where the hillside is. And then if we get a nice, um... A little river going down the middle there. Well, I suppose that's a bit... There we go, that's a bit better. Don't want to go too high, that's not how water works. Okay. So, yeah, it seems to go downhill that way, doesn't it? So here, at this end, we will make like a little pool, which is, ooh, no, undo, yes, I wanted to get rid of that, so I need to undo that, there we go, make a little pool, so 
sort of like that. And we'll put some just little, uh, oh, no, ah, oh, bugger, I just undone it and I didn't want to and I don't know how to redo. A little pool, and then we'll get the white, make it nice and small, and then just, well, it's not very uh, well filled in at all, is it? Make it a bit bigger again. And try and fill in some of those gaps a little bit. That's okay, so I'm going to do like a waterfall. So what we'll do is we'll just have the waterfall coming in there. Like that. So obviously that's the top of the waterfall. And just make this a bit bigger and then just go vroom. Like that. Okay, so now we've got this bigger tool as well. Let's just uh, fill in a bit of the space back there as well. And let's get the white. And make it nice and small. I'm just going to do some just like little like little little streaks in the water. And over here, where the water hits it, you want lots of little, uh, little water sprays coming up. I make this nice and small again. And then just some nice little, like, action lines for the water, so we know that it's moving. Okay, that's a pretty good start, pretty good start. I mean, that water's definitely coming uphill, but you know, that's fine, that's fine. No one's gonna worry about that. Let's go back to that gray, and we'll just, uh... is that gray? Gray, thank you. So we'll undo that. Put a rock in there. Make this a bit bigger. So that's like the top of the waterfall. And then we want to follow this back there. And the same over this side. And a little bit of that. I suppose we're going to need to join this down here a little bit as well, aren't we? So we've got like this cliff face. Like that. And then we've gone a bit over there, so we'll do something with that. Join that in a little bit. So what we want to do basically, if I get a slightly darker or lighter grey, go for a lighter one so we can see it. So I want to make this into like a little cave essentially. So we want that sort of shape. Coming down here. Down this side. And then coming over here. Like that. Okay. So that looks all right. So what I'd want to do is just get that darker gray, make this a lot smaller. And then if we, uh, I'll get rid of that for a second, zoom this up, I wanna go behind the waterfall, and just add like a little bit of, a little bit of sort of depth to the uh, 
inside of this cave. Being the incredible artiste that I am. So then if we just scale that back down. Yeah, and then if we come back in here, get that. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted at all. Get that lighter gray again. And we can just do a little bit of work up here. Just uh, maybe a bit smaller. Just to give it a bit of a bit of texture, a bit of depth. And then the same over on this side. Just like that. And a few little just swirls for rocks in. Just hit the wall. Oh my god. Step back a bit. Okay. So when this game's there's just no excuse for hitting the wall. Oh, not really a game. One of those experiences. Oops. Okay. And then around here. And then just like this. And there we go. So that's the top of the waterfall. Just about done, I think. So we could do that in a little bit of a little bit more sort of texture around here on the old grassy knolls. Oh, not like that. And a bit of a rock down there. A bit of a rock down there. Okay, bit of a rock there, let's get rid of that for a second, let's come up with this side, do the same again, a bit of a rock, and a little, oh, control on a bit mental then, didn't it? Just like that. I do need to do something with the underneath of this waterfall because there's a bit of a bit of a gap there, isn't there? So let's um let's get some of the dark grey, make this a bit bigger. And then just start just filling in this little space a little bit. Go around there like that, and if we spin that around, bring that back down, yes, that's some nice grey. And then, oops, rotate that, make this a bit bigger, and then just... Get a flat, uh, flat surface there, just to join up to this green a bit more. And then we'll steal this grey again and just give it a bit of texture. Okay. It's so a bit more of this grey as so we're coming around, just like some little, little swirls down the bottom here. A few little grey rocks as well. It's not all about the white grey rocks, but some dark ones as well. And then we just need a little bit of vegetation, really, don't we? Where would I find brown? There. 
there I'd find brown. So what am I going to do? We've got like a big of a space here, don't we? So what I might just do here is just a bit of a base. Some little uh, tendrils coming off. And then we'll do a nice little tree here. And we'll keep it basically 2D, this one. And we'll split the trunk off. Start drawing in some branches. And some nice little ones coming off the sides. So that's a nice little tree. So we get like a lighter brown. And we're going to do so a little. Occasional little flecks of highlights around. Just like that. Hmm, it is a little bit skewiff, isn't it? If anything, it seems worse than uh, when I started. It's because I drew the tree that way. If I left it like that, it wouldn't be so bad. But no matter, there we go. So what we can do is we can get rid of that. Then we can zoom ourselves in. And we can go and stand next. To my little tree. Sort of like that. And there we go. We are now stood in my painting. How cool is that? Oh, if you hold the uh, scale button too much, everything just disappears. Must be like a, a limit to the size of the room you're in, I guess. So we can't quite see the waterfall, so let's just see if I can uh, scale that down a bit and position ourselves so we can see the waterfall a bit. Something like that. And then scale that up. There we go. What's the reasonable size for a tree? That. There. So we are stood in my valley. Welcome to my valley. Valley of the ants. Well, that's what I should just do quickly. This is a nice little, uh, nice little finishing touch. Just up here, I will draw a very quick ant. Little, little head. Little body. Little tail piece. Six legs, antenna coming off. We give it orange eyes in uh, King Spray, so we'll stick to that. And some. Oh, what happened there? Lines across his body and just highlighting his legs. And there's my terribly drawn ant. Let's get rid of that again. And then let's uh, put ourselves back in this. There's my terribly drawn ant. There's my massive tree. Okay, well, I think that's about everything. Obviously, you could do a lot with this program. Some of the stuff you saw, the, the, the tester things they ship with it, it's it's an incredible program, it really is. It's much more, I knew it was a, a lot more robust, I guess, than like, again, say Kingsbury, which is a bit more of just like a, you know, co-op, share a wall, paint some stuff, which you can do amazing things in, don't get me wrong. But this feels like a bit more professional. So if you do have the touch, I recommend you give it a go if you haven't, because you've been a bit put off by the sort of the difficult uh, things they sort of talk about with it. Where's the, uh, where's the save option? Save, project name, valley. Oh, let's get rid of all that first. Do, 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 do. Valley. 
done. Save. Document saved. So there we go. So I do recommend you give it a go. Just the, the feeling of doing that, it just feels so nice and smooth. It really does. Well, I still haven't figured out how you change color with the B button. Holding down, pressing other things. No, no. So there we go. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, let's get rid of uh, get rid of my crazy lines. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, do click the like or subscribe button. We very much appreciate it as always. Otherwise, I'll see you next time in uh, in whatever it is I'm doing next. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you try it out. I really do. Um, I'd love to see some of the things people are going to manage to do with this over the coming months. It seems like such a, a powerful tool. So yes, hope you enjoyed. I will see you next time. Thank you very much for joining me.